and welcome to BizTech on Ghana Web TV with me, Na Oyokoti. Stay tuned for more business stories that made headlines during the week and an exclusive interview you wouldn't want to miss. Now, crafting any form of miniature, whether painting or sculpture, takes a lot of precision. That is why over the years, the art form, which has existed for over 2,000 years, is heavily prized by collectors worldwide. In Ghana, however, miniature art is yet to have a widespread representation. But an indigenous miniature artist is changing the narrative. He is Meshak Ajete, CEO of Meshak Architecture. Catch up on the conversation with my colleague, Maoli Aholumega. His idea first began when he went on an excursion and saw a number of miniature arts during that excursion. This born his idea of creating his very own miniature art and he's doing amazingly well in them. Before I introduce my guest on this week's edition of BizTech, I'll take a quick break and we'll be right back. Welcome up for that break. My guest on this week's edition of This Tech is Meshek Ajete, and he is a miniature artist. He's going to be taking us through some of the very beautiful and amazing things that he's been creating. Meshek, welcome to This Tech. How are you doing? Doing great. Yeah. Sir? Yeah, doing very well. Yeah. Many thanks for having us. Yeah. Yeah, so you are into miniature arts. First of all, explain to us what exactly miniature art is. Um, um, in, in my own explanation, it's, it's uh, just a small form of anything mm. yeah, any anything bigger mm -hmm. like as in a, a, a building mm. yeah, so the small form of the, of the, the building mm. yeah that's okay. that's my experience yeah. and how long have you been into miniature art um actually um i would say um three to four years now. three to four years now okay and how has it been as a business for you oh, um it's uh, I wasn't I wasn't uh, more into it though, mm. but because I was working in the company. So okay. yeah, when I get less time in I, I do it. Mm. Yeah, so it's but it's actually going on well. It's actually going yes. on well. Okay. Yeah, so I see a number of uh, miniature arts here. I see some houses and some trees. Now let's come to the art itself. What exactly went into the idea of you creating these things? Okay. Mm. Uh, I would say I love art mm. and craft. Okay. Yes. So, so anything I see which is beautiful or uh, I find it uh, passionate. And, mm. uh, yes. And I, 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 um, I went to an excursion. Okay. In a place, mm. I saw uh, this beautiful miniature art. Mm. Yes. Just crafted a, a small building, and mm. I was, I was like, oh, this thing is so beautiful. Mm. I would like to do it. Do it more. Because I, I have the passion for it. Mm. So I gathered uh, staffs and and try making the same thing mm. which is i mean the okay yeah, so yes i started doing it mm. with the help of god i i, I, I made it possible so you basically learned it on your own you, yes. you didn't go to any school nothing of the no, sort no, you no. just picked this up no. and just learned. but how was the, the first one that you created after you you said you went to an, a place to before you saw the miniature how was it like how was the process like <laughs> How do you mean? Uh, I mean, the first miniature that yeah. you created, after seeing the, the pictures that you said, yeah. where you went initially, how was it like? How was the process creating that? Um, I didn't see the person creating it. Okay. No, I just took the pictures of uh, the, the sample. The, and, the miniature there, yes. okay. And I, I used the pictures in Okay. So you just conceptualized everything and you just started working yeah. at it. Wow. So I noticed some of your raw materials are chopsticks. Yeah, chopsticks. Um, any reason why you decided to go for chopsticks? Uh, yeah, because it's easier. And it's it, it, it's it's just easier using it. Mm. Yes, as you can see, when I just take my um, cutter and I, I just cut it, cut it and just take okay. a line, yes, then I'm, I'm going. Okay, wow. Yeah, so it's easier. Yeah, So and I see some little trees or flowers or something yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, what is that as well um it's it's a decoration like, okay yes all right 
as you, as you know, many in many houses they, mm. they do use so as okay. Yeah. So I understand you've been doing this for three to four years yeah. now, individually and personally as a business. How has it been going for you? Um, like like I said earlier, mm. yes, I, I was working in a company, mm. so um, I, I focus more on the company. On the company, uh, okay. But I, I when I get more time. And that's what you do. Yeah. yeah. But it's also going on. It's well. also going on. Well. You've been able to sell some of them. Yeah, yeah. So I know money is very important. So how much does one go for? It depends on what you create. Yes. Okay. So like let's say this one for instance, how much is it? Um, three hundred cities. Three hundred cities. Yes, wow. Yes. And then this the same Th price. That's the same. This was this was the first one I did. Okay. Yeah, so wow. Yes, okay. This was the first one I did. Wow. So Thank I you. just this one I just um, created it with my own like. Mm. Uh, Okay. Then what about the, the bigger one as well? Um, the bigger one. I'm sure this I, one took a lot more time to do because it took me six months. Six months. Uh, yeah. To create this. Yes. Wow. Um, why? <laughs> because um, I, I I was just I, I was just starting. Like that was that was what, the first. The first one. Yeah, so okay. It. I didn't get more of the instrument and tools mm. uh, to make it easier and faster. Mm. So yes. Okay. Um, but along the way, you started getting them. Yeah. So so usually, what do you use to make? These things. I see some super glue and some stuff yes, and all that. Yes, that, yeah. that's the um, super glue. This, okay. this main two things. Okay. Yeah. All right. And um, a dye. Yes. So the the brown stick you are seeing. Okay. They are all dye. So I, you I paint dye. them as well, or it comes with the sticks that you. No, you I, paint I think them. Okay. Yeah. So you said you've been doing this for about three to four years now. Um, where do you want to take this in terms of? Because you virtually you are like an architect in your own way. Um, do you have any plans of venturing into architecture? Yeah, actually yeah. I have. Okay. I have plans. Yeah. Um, now, what I can do is just just um, build with something, but I don't have the, um, the knowledge or the yeah I would say the knowledge to maybe draw it down yeah. Yeah, or something. So I was I was think I was thinking of um. And, uh, Going to a course then, mm. uh, doing a 3D, uh, a 3D design. Yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah. Spe speaking of which, you know, this is uh, part of our show is business and technology and yeah. stuff. And since you said you want to start learning about 3D and all of that, how best do you think that 3D can help you? You know, conceptualize all these amazing concepts that you have, and then bring it into these larger miniatures out there. Okay. Um, yeah. The 3D mm. uh, will help me like. I go into more more of the architecture. Mm. Yes, and 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 I can I, this one here. I can also use it like just decorating. I can I can do some for you. You can use it in your living room or mm. yes. So yeah. okay, yeah. I mean, I, for, for me, I've, this is my first time seeing something like this. Um, are we going to be seeing most of these things on the market anytime soon? Yeah. Mm. How soon? How soon do you want it? I know um, you have your own plans. <laughs> Um, I don't know, but um, I actually, I do my marketing most on WhatsApp. Okay. Yeah, the friends of my. So you use the uh, social media. media. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so right. I just when I do that, I send it to my friends, then they, they post it, then mm. uh, okay. so it gets yeah. So hopefully in the future, you are looking to build a proper team where this is your main focus, or maybe you have any other plans. What, yeah, what about you personally? Do you have any plans for future? Or this is what you want to do. Yeah, this this is actually what I want to do. Mm. And how long do you want to do this? How long do you want to do this? Or how long do you see yourself doing this? Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, to, to, I, I don't have the strength and the ability to do it anymore. Yeah. So I think I'll do it. Yeah. Right, so. Yeah. so briefly, I know you made mention behind the scenes about your twin brother. Yeah. Does he also do the same thing that you do? Um, no. Okay, but he helps you out? Yeah. Okay. And I, I saw some of your family members here as well. They're very supportive of what you do. Okay. All right. That's cool. Yeah, so let me take a quick break and then we'll come back and then you teach me how you start the whole process okay. of the miniature. Yes, I was speaking with Meshak Ajete and he's my guest on this week's edition of Biztech. He's been taking me through his miniature artist work, which are very amazing. I'll take a quick break and we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere.
Welcome off another break on Biztech. Meshek Ajete is my guest on this week's edition and he's a miniature artist and he's been creating some really, really amazing miniature art and he's going to take us through exactly how he creates this um, miniature art. Meshek, Charlie, thank you very much. Yeah, Welcome okay. off another break. It was a really nice conversation I was having with you, having to understand why you're doing what you're doing. Now I want to see exactly how you undertake the whole process. So what's step one? before we see the complete miniature. Okay, um, mm. so um, step one, mm. I, I, I I cut this board. Okay. Yeah, so from here to here is um, 15. Okay. From here to here is 12. Okay. So you measure everything yes, as well? Measure okay. And then um, I just simplify it for a smooth surface. Okay. Yes. Then I just lay down the, um, this stand, this, okay. this stands. Okay. Like, uh, I go to uh, streets. So that's like the foundation yes. of the entire thing. Uh, okay. So then I go on with um, this. So I usually um, cut everything. Okay. So immediately I start. Then I just be joining everything. So mm. I join this and this and the and the gates and uh, you see okay. and then the windows. Okay. And it, it becomes one piece. Mm. And I just. Place it here. Okay. Then the same goes to here. Okay. Yes. Then okay. I just I just join them. Then mm. it come one piece. Okay. I just place it there. The same goes to here and the other side. Okay. Yeah. So then <coughs> it so, comes to the things inside. Okay. So basically, you work from just this one board. Yeah. Okay. So you draw the line to do all the measurements and everything. Yeah. So once you lay the foundation, that's when then the design inside, because I see. Like you have a sink and some TV and yeah. some all kinds of things. So, where, first of all, where do you get these raw materials from? Uh, it's actually <laughs> funny because <laughs> I, I I sometimes take some of the things from my mom's um, jewelry. Oh, stuff okay. So you've been stealing your mom's. <laughs> you've been stealing some of the mom's jewelry yeah. to do it. Okay, that's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so you so once once you get these resources, that's when your artistic expression comes yes, in, yes, and then you exactly. begin to fix yeah, them. Because yeah. you virtually built this like an entire home. Somebody walks in. The only thing that's missing here is probably a car. <laughs> Are you looking to build some cars along the oh, way? Actually, this 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 whole flat has a car. Really? <laughs> yes, that's that's a car. Wow, that's a car. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. So the, it makes the whole the entire yeah, thing complete. Yes, yes. Okay. All right. Yeah. This this is really amazing. So in a day, how many are you? How many of these are you able to make in a day? Um, I I can't um, exactly tell what I today because it's it's very stressful. And you need a, a lot of, a lot um, of concentration. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Concentration. Right. So when when I feel like if I'm maybe I'm I'm doing something and I feel like I'm feeling dizzy or something, I just relax and mm. go, maybe go outside and go and go, mm. then I come back and continue. But usually yeah. when you're like you from the beginning to the end, how many hours does it take for you to complete? Um, or days? I would, okay, I, I, I would say um, three days. Three days to, to, to finish yes. one completely. Yes, finish one. Yeah, three okay, days. all right. Three days. Amazing. Yeah. No, my, when I started first, I used one week. One week. Yeah, because yeah, I was I was beginning to get an idea of mm. everything. Okay, yeah, so. all right. So Meshek, you've been really telling me exactly why you're doing what you're doing. But personally, I want to finally, before we go, where do you want to see this form of art that you are? Because this is very rare. I've not seen a lot of people do this. You personally, where do you want to see this go for you? Personally. <laughs> and as a business as well. Uh, I want to I go far. Mm. far. How far? How far do you want to go? Tell me how far you want to go. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> I mean, do you want an architecture company to come for you and you start working for them? I just want to know where your plans are. Okay. Because uh, this is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Personally, I, I want to start my own business. Mm. I create my own. <clears throat> Uh, maybe an institution mm. uh, to train people to use their own ideas to um, create their own uh, miniature. Okay. All right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Any final words you want to share with us? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, any, any final words? I mean, um, you can give shout outs to all your people. Okay. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> to my people out there, mm. uh, um, when you, you know you have um, any talent at all, and you, you, you are maybe feeling shy or 
you, you, you think you won't get a chance to, to go far. Just, just rely on God and God will help you with everything you do. Mm. Trust me. There you have it, Meshek. <laughs> Thank you very much. There you have it. I've been speaking with Meshek Gajete and he is a miniature artist. He's been creating some very amazing miniature art, all from the scratch. And he uses chopsticks and then cardboards as well. And he's been my guest on this week's edition of This Tech on Ghana Web Team. Many thanks for watching. My name is Maoli. I have Megan. That was an insightful interview. Thank you, Maoli. Up next is Biz Headlines. To our very first story, which is on the CD depreciation, the local currency has again suffered a worrying state of depreciation in just a week into March. According to the portal, the rate of the CD's depreciation against the U.S. dollar doubled to 14.21% in the first week of March since the start of 2022. This comes after the local currency earlier recorded a 7.60% depreciation at the end of February this year. The current fall in the value of the CD has, however, raked it as the worst performing currency in Africa, according to a 15-nation ranking. Market analysts have, however, attributed the CD's decline to some risk factors associated with Ghana's economy. These include high interest payments, revenue generation constraints, among others. So on Ghana's economic situation, the World Bank has admonished the government of Ghana to remain transparent with citizens on the country's current economic situation. According to the country director of the World Bank for Ghana, Pierre Laporte predicts Ghana will face a tough time in its bid towards restoring macroeconomic sustainability. Is it a really serious situation? Well, the numbers speak for themselves. The situation is very serious. At the World Bank, we have not hidden the fact when we've held discussions with government officials and even the head of state that Ghana faces a very tough road ahead to restore macro sustainability. Yes, COVID-19 has not helped, but even before COVID, there were signs that the situations were getting a little bit challenging. So the key thing is to be transparent with the people. This is according to Pierre Laporte. The Ghana Statistical Service has announced that the rate of inflation for February 2022 has increased to 15.7% from a previous 13.9% in January. The 15.7% recorded in February indicates a 1.8% increase from January this year, showing that prices are increasing sharply within a short period. Addressing journalist, government statistician Samuel Kobana Enim stated that this is the second highest inflation rate recorded since the rebasing of the CPI and inflation in August 2019. The highest was recorded during the COVID-19 period between the months of April and between the month of March and April 2020 when the variation was 2.8 percentage points. Housing, water, electricity, gas and other fuels recorded the largest prices increase in February of to 5.1%. Now on cryptocurrency trading in Ghana, the central bank has cautioned the general public against an impending launch of a cryptocurrency named Freedom Coin. According to a statement on March 9, Freedom Coin has not been approved by the Bank of Ghana to operate in the banking and payment sector. According to the bank, the public is hereby cautioned that neither this cryptocurrency nor the promoting company has approval from the central bank to operate in the banking sector. In line with a notice issued on January 22, 2018, which can be found on the Bank of Ghana's website, the central bank wishes to reiterate that cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin are not regulated under any laws in Ghana and are therefore not backed by any guarantees or safeguards. 
Now to our final story on Ghana's public debt stock. The World Bank has said Ghana's public debt stock in terms of gross domestic product may have exceeded the 80% mark. The development comes after the Bank of Ghana in its January 2022 monetary policy report said the country's public debt stock had reached 78.4% of GDP at the end of 2021. But the country director for the bank, Pierre Laporte, speaking at a public lecture organized by the One Ghana Movement on March 7, said Ghana's public debt situation may have changed due to increased governing borrowing. He said, the data as we know is close to 80% of GDP. Probably now as we speak, it might have exceeded. <laughs>